Hi, this is Emma with Zouch Family Homestead. And this morning, we're gonna be making some healthier cookies. We're gonna start off with peanut butter. I'm trying to make things that my husband likes, uh, cause I know he's gonna eat sweets. I mean, we've had this discussion over and over again. Should we just stop baking altogether? And he is a sweet eater. He's a snacker. He likes to eat. He works very hard which keeps the weight off of him, but he has high blood pressure. So he's on medicine for that. They wanted to put him on statins for high cholesterol. It's just mildly high, just, just slightly higher. So he's not too sure about that. So I'm gonna do what I can to keep him healthy, knowing that he's just gonna eat the sweets anyway. So. Here we go. I've got two cups. I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of lower that to where you can see this better. I'm not the greatest with cameras, so here we go on this. I got two cups of healthier peanut butter, more natural, less sugar peanut butter. Okay. To that, I'm gonna add two eggs, two farm fresh eggs, since we have our chickens. Now, I'm gonna try something new. I'm used to regular sugar, but I'm trying this allulose baking blend. We will try that. It's not super cheap, but if it's healthier for him, we will see. I, I just, I don't know. I'm just trying what I can. I love having my husband with me. I do think it's important for us to eat healthier, so we're gonna try that. So we have two cups of peanut butter, two farm fresh eggs, and we're gonna add in one cup of this allulose baking blend, okay? I don't know, I think I prefer regular, more natural, as opposed to plant-based only. I don't know, I don't know. What do you think? I'm just gonna mix this all together. And then I'm gonna put it on my baking sheet. I'm gonna put it in a 350 degree oven, which I already have preheating. If I don't think that this is as thick as I want it, or gonna hold up the shape that I want, I'll add a little bit of almond flour to it. So, I may just go ahead and do that. As I said, I am learning to cook um, differently, differently than I ever have. I'm just gonna go ahead and add in just a little almond flour, because I just, maybe two tablespoons of almond flour. Cause I just think that's gonna be not as thick of a cookie as I'm wanting to go for. Cause I like them to be, I don't know, a little more firm. Oh, I think that's gonna be much better. Okay, we'll see how that holds up. So two tablespoons of almond flour, two cups of peanut butter, natural as you can get, uh, two eggs, I use two farm fresh eggs because we have their chickens. And one cup of allulose baking blend. We will see how this is. All right, I think we're blended. I'll take those and put them on the cookie sheet. I'm gonna pause just for a moment. Now, I'm just, I need to get me a cookie scoop, I think to where I can make more uniformed, shaped, you know, absolutely same size cookies. But I don't know. I'm always looking for ways to save money as well. You know, it's kind of hard times we're living in. So I'm not too quick about spending money on that. So I think I would just assume for today anyway Make it into my cookie balls. Oh, it's probably 
nice tablespoon or a little better. So I can get some nice size cookies. I don't need to make a ton because we're trying to watch what we eat. So once you've seen me shape one into a ball, <laughs> you've seen it. So let's go back up here and I can just talk to you while I'm doing this. So now how's your day? How is your day going? My day is wonderful. I got Clyde off on a job. He's portable all day and it's supposed to be super hot. So I had to send him with a lunch. So I was trying to think, what can I send him that's gonna be a little healthier? Cause again, we're trying to eat healthier, but I have tried and tried to get him to not eat so many sweets and things like that. And I don't know, he is just a sweet eater. So lunch today, I sent him, what did I send him? Send him with my bottle of frozen water so that as it thaws, He'll have that to drink. I sent him with three quarters of a cantaloupe, all cut up. Uh, put in the a little bitty bag cooler right beside my water to where it'll stay cool. So that'll be a nice treat for him as he starts getting hot today. What else did I send him? Oh, I sent him some jerky um, and a few cookies. I had made him some gingerbread cookies. He loves anything ginger, anything molasses, anything sorghum. He likes that. So I'm sure that you will see me doing a lot of ginger molasses. You'll, you'll see that because he really likes that. He likes a true maple syrup. Now some of these things are much higher priced it makes no sense why it's so hard in America to eat healthier. I mean, you want junk? Go to the store. It's there. And you can get plenty. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not cheap either. But it is not as high as when you're trying to eat healthier. You would think that they would say, I don't know say let's try to keep people healthier and we'll have less medical bills less things going on like that i don't know i guess people don't think the way i do but it seems silly to me i don't know <laughs> got any thoughts on that um i think so this tray is going to give me 15 cookies i think we'll probably get 25 cookies out of this batch so that's good I'll put probably 18 down at the little farm store put the rest of them in the cookie jar and uh, we'll do three different kinds of cookies today and Clyde and the grandkids can just have a heyday with cookies as they come home and for the weekend so I'm gonna get these in the oven and we'll see how they turn out Oh, I'm gonna take my, either my potato masher or my fork and push down on the top of them just so that it looks like a traditional peanut butter cookie, you know, with the stripes or the crisscross on top. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll show you here in a minute. Changed my mind. Instead of lemon cookies, we're gonna make apple pecan cookies of a throw together. I got two apples I needed to use up. So we're going to make apple pecan cookies. So we're going to start off with two, two apples that are chopped or diced. Okay, to that we're going to add two and a half cups of almond flour. I've already added a quarter cup of butter into my mixing bowl. I'm going to add in maple syrup. Five tablespoons. Okay. 
Okay. We're going to add in a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. I like recipes where I can just kind of throw it all together in one pan, one bowl, and mix it up. I don't like things where I have to really um, do this step in this container and this one in another and this in another. And then you're spending your afternoon just doing dishes. We're going to add in a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg and then a quarter of a teaspoon of almond extract. We're gonna mix it together. We're going to bake it at 350 for 12 to 14 minutes. Simple. Silly me, forgot to add my pecans. I'm gonna add probably half a cup of pecans to our apple pecan cookies. How yummy. <laughs> Here's my apple pecan cookies before they're baked. Apple pecan cookies. Yum. Now we're going to get started on the thumbprint cookies. Okay. So I'll move this down again. See how that works. <laughs> okay, I have creamed together a half a cup of butter and six tablespoons of cream cheese. Now see how creamy that looks? Just looks yummy. I'm going to add our allulose blend okay, to that. And that is two thirds of a cup. We're going to go ahead and mix our two farm fresh eggs in there. Did you see how the yellow is on those eggs? Bright orange, just yummy. Okay. We'll mix that up a little bit. You can always tell a farm fresh egg from a store-bought egg. It just seems to have a better color to it to me. I'm just using a fork. I don't like all the fancy things that lots of people use. Of course, it makes things easier, but I don't know. Does it take something away as well? For me, it kind of takes something away for me, but I'm sure that as I get older, my arthritis kicks up more. That will be much harder for me. Okay, I need half of a teaspoon of salt. So again, I'm going to get my little salt container. Just one of these lovely little things that's mixed in. I've got a teaspoon of vanilla in here. Again, there's no fancy things. It's a little Dixie cup. I don't need to be fancy. Who am I showing this to? You. Do you care about fancy or do you care about good? For me, I care that it tastes wonderful. I really do. Now, I need three and a half cups of almond flour. So, there's one. This is the brand of almond flour that I'm using today on our recipes. <clears throat> nothing fancy, nothing you can't do at home. So I'm just gonna gently mix this together. Once I get this mixed, let's turn this back up, you can talk to you a little bit. Once I get this mixed, then I'm going to put it into the refrigerator. I have a tiny refrigerator right behind this little set of shelves. It's just a little bitty propane refrigerator. Um, 
anyway, I'll find a spot in it. Maybe not for the whole bowl, but I'll put it in a different little separate bowl maybe if I need to. And put it in the fridge for half an hour. I'll put it in for 30 minutes. So I'll let that chill just a little bit. Then I'll form it into my balls. Put it on my ungreased cookie sheet. Then I'll take my thumb, make a little indent in each cookie. Fill it with my little bit of jam or jelly, you know, whatever you have. Just something you have on hand. If you make things so extravagant that you have to go out and buy new things every time, you're not gonna stick with healthy cooking. I don't think so. So I am trying to get um, to where we have certain things on hand. Uh, anyway, so push your little thumbprint into each, each little ball and then add your little bit of jelly or jam on top and then put them in the oven 350 for mm, 15 to 18 minutes. I had to write that down this morning. Sometimes it just sticks in my head and sometimes I have to look. <laughs> so I don't know about you, but at 58, almost 59, I tend to have to do that. I tend to have to relook at things just a little bit. Can't remember quite like I used to, but I'm still doing pretty good. I still call the kids by a different name, but I've always done that, so that is nothing new. So I'm done with this part of it. I'll let it chill for 30 minutes, and then we'll put it in balls on our cookie sheet, put the jelly on, bake it 15 to 18 minutes, and then we'll have our three types of cookies done for the weekend. Isn't that just simply lovely? Look at those cookies. Beautiful, beautiful. Now look at the end result. Look at these lovely, lovely cookies. Three different kinds. Just wonderful. Less sugar, healthier versions. It can be done. May God bless you.